So this is how to test your solenoid safely as demonstrated on my space shuttle. A system nine in this case, you take a bulb such as a 315 and you replace it with F2. So instead of F2, you put in this bulb. And once you turn the machine on, it should glow dimly. Then what you do is you turn it on and you put it in diagnostic mode, which enables the solenoids. And then every time you hit a solenoid, it should flash brightly, but then be dim afterwards. So here I am hitting the pump bumper and you see it flash brightly and you see that it will occasionally activate and it will keep doing that as long as the lamp doesn't heat up too much if you heat up the lamp it won't activate so now, now it won't activate because the lamp has been heated up but it will allow a, a small amount of current to flow and you can check out your solenoids without burning things out so after a good cool down period, you can then hit the switch again and it will blip the, the solenoid. Make sure the solenoid activates and that it's dark when you do not, or at least dimly lit. If it's bright all the time, that means there's a short. And if the solenoid doesn't throw, you may have a short in the solenoid or the diode will be backwards. So this is how you check out your solenoid safely with a light bulb.